Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these beautiful princess seed beads earrings. I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. You could always ask me anything in the comments. By the way, thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for this. If you're new here, also consider subscribing with the bell with, for more absolutely free content like this one. You could check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Also, a lot of work goes in these videos, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with a course of free videos and other perks that you could check in the link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for these princess earrings are two colors of 11 OC beads. I use pearl white and this really dark blue color. You could use regular white and black if you want or other contrasting colors. Here I'm using earring findings in silver color. This is nylon Island thread which is size D, the thickness is 0.3 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. If it's easier for you, you could use size 11 or 12. Here I'm using scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start my work by picking up four of these beautiful dark blue beads. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work. And here what I want to do is to make a knot. And how I make it, I make first a loop, go twice through the loop I've made. Because in this way I make surgeon's knot or also called half hitch knot, which is secure. And then I make one more knot. And now I have this beautiful cross of beads here, also called right angle weave. And I go here after my knot in the next bead. Then I'm going to take just one white bead and go in the next blue. And again. and until the end. Okay, now I have this. It's easy up to here. And it will continue being easy with the step-by-step -step instructions. Okay. I'm taking three white beads and I go back in circle through this white again forming a cross of four beads. You see it looks cool. Then my goal guys is to go through one of those white beads that are sticking out and form another cross of four beads. Then again, through the dark blue end, exiting out of the white, three white beads. And I will do this one more time. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, guys, what I want to do is take a dark bead, go through the white, another dark, go through the white, another dark, okay? 
then take one more dark and go here in the next white so I'm filling the gap between these white beads just like this and I will continue the same way a dark a dark and one dark to fill in the gap again a dark one and I'll do this until the end of this row and here guys at the end you see I already have this black bead here because I added it in my first step and I'm just going through it and through the white after that okay now I have this and what I'm going to do next is to go through this dark bead and here I need to add three dark beads and to go in the next dark then here two I want to fill in the gap with two three at the angle two at the inner part and I will continue this until the end okay guys now I have this and in my next step I want to go through the first of those three beads that I added at the angle and I'm going to take one white bead and go here in the central of those three then one more white and go in the next one here I'm also taking white and this time I go through two beads white and go through one which is the first of the three beads that I added at the angle then again one and go through one one and go through one one and at this step go through two the two that you added at the side of your work then again one and go in the first of those three and I take one white go here in the central black one one more and I'm doing this until the end I take one and go through two at the side and then adding one and skipping one until the end of the angle and here after the angle add one and skip two only at this step at the side you add one and skip two and then I add the last one in this row ok 
Okay, now I have this. Okay, guys, and now I will flip my work in this direction. And what I do is that I cut this tail thread here. Okay. I'm right handed and it's easier for me to go like this. I could go in the other direction, but it's just easier. So I will continue in this direction. Okay, I take three and as I'm exiting through this white, I go here through the following. Like this. Then what I want to do is to reach my next white bead that is sticking out. So I go through the blue and then through the white. And I take three beads. Then I get, again I reach here the angle. And what I want to add are three beads. Okay, three again. Go here at the angle. At three. And continue this until the end. Okay, now I have this and in my next step guys I want to go through these two white beads then I'm going through the white at the angle and here I need three white beads and I go back like this through this top bead okay now I have this then I go through the following white and I take five dark blue beads and I go here in the second white counting from the center. Okay, I have this. Now go through the one that is sticking out the most, the middle one of the five sorry of the three that I added in my previous row and I go back like this then I go in the next white and I take five again you see I have five and I go here in the second white counting from the center next to the one that is sticking out the most which is the middle one okay now i have this don't worry if it bends and moves we'll fix it later okay then i need three white beads i go back like this Then I go in the next one and I take five and I go here in the second white counting from the center like I did before. Next to the one that is sticking out three. go like this 
Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video. Three here at the middle one, five here between uh, these beads. And continue this until the end and meet me. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I want to do next... is reach the middle one of these five beads. Okay, I'm exiting here out of the middle one. And I'm going to take three white beads and I go like this. Then I go here in this direction. And I want to reach the next central bead of the five that I added. Okay. Take three and go back like this. Okay, and this is what I'm going to be doing until the end of this row. You reach to one of those five beads, the central one, and add three white beads. Okay, continue this and meet me here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat the steps that I showed you everywhere. Okay, now what I want to do is go here through the bead that is sticking out the most. Okay, this is what I have. And now I'm going to flip my work like this. And in this step, I'm going to take seven dark beads and as I'm exiting here, I go in the next white. Okay. You see how here the space between this one and this one is bigger than between this and this. So here I'm going to add more beads. So here I'm going to add 11 beads. Okay, here 9 plus 2, it's 11. And I'm sliding those down. And as I'm exiting through one of the white beads, I go through the next white. Then here the space is smaller. So I'm going to take 7 beads. And I go here in the white. Here the place is larger, so I'm going to take 11 beads and go through the white. And I will continue alternating 7, 11, 7, 11 and when I'm up to here I'll be back. Okay guys, and I have here my last 11 beads from this row. And I'm adding them here. Now I'm here where I have seven beads. So what I do is the following. I go through two beads here. The first two. I take one white. And I go back through this one. And through the following two. So through two. Three in total, but this one I'm going out of with my thread is the first and I'm going backwards through it, if you understand me. Okay. 
now I have this. I have a loop between this second black bead and the white bead. Okay. Now you see I'm here exiting out of the middle of these seven beads. Here I have one, two, three and the one that I'm exiting out of and then one, two, three again. Now I'm taking two beads and I go back in circle through this middle one. Okay, like this. Now I have a loop between this bead and these two newly added beads. What I want to do next is go through two beads. And I'm going to take one white and I go back through this one and through the following, just like this. Then here at this inner angle, I add one bead. And after I add it, here where I have 11, I go through the next three beads. Okay. Then I take one, I go backwards through this one and through three more. Okay. So through four in total. Now the one that I'm exiting out of this one is the middle one of those 11. How I know it's the middle one here I have one, two, three, four, five and this one and here I have one, two, three, four, five. So this is the middle one. And I take two white beads and I go back in circle through this one and also through one, two, three more. So through four in total. Okay. Then I'm here exiting out of the third beat. If you count from the angle, this is the third beat. Take one white and go here and try to reach the angle. Okay. This is how I handle the part with the 11 beads. Then I take one and here is the part with the seven beads. So I go through two. And here, what I need to add is one bead and I go through the next, through this one and through the next two, so through three in total. And now I'm exiting in the middle of those seven beads and I take one, then I go back here through three beads, just like this. And I take one, and I go through these two. And here, as I told you at the angle, I need just one. And here is the part with my 11 beads. So here I go through three. And here at my third bead, I want to add one white then go through four beads in total to exit out of the middle one of the 11 beads that you have. Here add two and go here through four beads and you exit out of the third bead counting from the angle one, two, three. So symmetrically this white and this one that I'm going to be adding now are at one and the same place. So up until now, I showed you twice how I'm adding the beads at the seven beads part and twice how I'm adding the beads at the 11 beads part. And if you're not sure how to finish this row, 
you could rewind this video from here and repeat it and everything will be okay okay i'll do this off camera and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last one white bead at this row and in fact i need to add one more here at the angle okay now i will go through the second one after the angle and what i'm going to do is go backwards through this white bead just like this okay you see where i'm exiting and now i want to flip my work now i'm going to take one white bead and go back through this white at the center okay here is the part where my 11 beads are here i'm going to take two and go through this one two again and go in the central two two go here two go at the angle and then one by one i'm going to fill in the gaps where i have seven beads okay one 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 okay now here it's time to fill the gaps where i have 11 beads so it's two and where i have seven beads it is one and i think guys you get the idea and i'm sure you're gonna be able to make it until the end one two one two and meet me here okay guys and here i am where i'm filling the last gap from this row now my earrings are almost ready by the way if you want more tension you could use file line for this project or try monofilament okay now what i want to do is go here at the center and go through these two central beads that i added in the beginning before i fill in the gaps and now I want to take two dark beads, my earring finding, and two dark beads. And I want to go back like this. Then I want to reinforce. And by the way, you could try reinforcing the edge of your work to make it firmer. And when you're ready, you could find a place and make a knot, let's say at one of the angles. Making here a loop, going once, going second time through the loop i've made pulling then go through some beads in this direction and cut my thread okay guys and now my princess seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't 
Also, thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for this. You could also check description for useful resources, full list of materials, Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. A lot of work goes in these videos, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.